Tally ho, it's Ocean here bringing you a very weird video, apparently. If you haven't guessed by the title, this video is going to be about Tony Hawk games, which means that I decided to stand on a skateboard for this entire video. I should probably point out that I cannot skate. This isn't even my board, so this should be real fun. Hopefully this video isn't a complete train wreck. And, uh, I almost fell over. And hopefully I can still use my green screen because, uh, as you can see, the height difference. I've, I've got I've got the green screen set to my actual heights. This is a bit ridiculous, really. Uh, do, I, do I need to just crouch the whole video? Tony Hawk video games were a huge part of my childhood. My father was a skater in the early years of living on this giant shreddable earth. I actually still have my dad's old skateboard deck right here. This is his board. Oh, this is kind of painful. One of my earliest memories of video games was playing the original Tony Hawk skateboarding on an old school tiny black and white television set because our main television just kind of died one day. Oh no! <clears throat> Those games meant a lot to me, so when I heard about a Tony Hawk fan game that had a lot of levels from every game on it, I had to check it out. Now, I can't skate at all, but can't be that hard, right? <laughs> This whole video is just one giant bad idea waiting to happen, but hello, welcome! <laughs> Ground control to Ocean's brain. This is gonna be really weird. I usually talk a little bit about the game and its story to start off these videos, but this game is... I didn't mean to do that, but this game is mostly a sandbox. Therefore, I'm gonna talk about the completely true story of how this came to be. So listen up, children. It's story time. <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived four Tony Hawk fans, sick to death of seeing their beloved franchise be ruined by ridiculous and quite frankly awful gimmick games. They set out to create the game of their dreams, known only as Fog Pro. This stood for Tony Hawk's Underground Pro. What a brilliant idea, quite novel I do say. They met lots of hardship along the way as they battled the fabled Covenant, an alien race that had been brainwashed by the Skate Army and the overlord Count E. They beat the skate armada and obtained the Trey Force, containing the free Trey Flips, courage, power, and wisdom. They used this artifact to create Fog Pro and we all had great skating times together with our family and friends. Finn. What? It's totally true! Anyway, let's get back to that gameplay. Getting right into the game, the menus take place within Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 Skate Shop area, which is a really cool throwback. You can customise certain elements, pun intended, set to your own score metery thing. It's pretty cool. You still have the ability to create your own skater and customise your skateboard too. Or you can use the pre-made skaters and play as Captain Price from Call of Duty. Mission accomplished. With this being a PC game, you can tinker with extra settings, such as setting your field of view. It's nice little additional touches like this that can really make you tell that this is a passion project. So to get into more detail of the game, Foot Pro is made in Tony Hawk's Underground 2, which means that Foot Pro has all the same controls, tricks, and features that Tony Hawk's Underground 2 has, so if you've played that game, you know exactly what to expect. I think the only issue here is that if you're a newcomer that wants to try Tony Hawk and you decide for some reason to check out Fog Pro first, you're kind of going to be lost a little bit on how to play the game. But with the game being so fun, it's not really that much of a big deal. It's just something to keep in mind for new players. Fog Pro brings a ton of levels from the Tony Hawk franchise. Classics! Absolute classics like Downhill Jam, School 1 and 2, Airport, Los Angeles, hell, there are even a few levels from games that came after Underground 2. Now that is impressive. One thing I will mention though is that this game is still being worked on. That means that not every level will be available, but you can see which levels are missing and which levels are included, so you can get a kind of idea of what levels they may be working on next. And if you want more levels, you can actually import custom made levels like these. Pretty rad, eh? <laughs> you can also create your own skate pack, just like you could in the past games. And as previously mentioned, this game actually has full capability to add mod levels into the game, which is really cool. But let's talk about one of the best features of Fog Pro, the online. 
Now on this channel I do tend to stick to single player experiences and single player campaigns only. I don't tend to delve too much into multiplayer based experiences, but this one is awesome. Fug Pro has online. In this mode you can play on any of the maps with random people or with your friends. Wanna settle a score of that asshole Jonathan? Settle it in Fug Pro. Wanna dunk on some scrubs and feel good about yourself for once in your goddamn life? Settle it in Fug Pro. Or Super Smash Brothers, that works too. It's all pretty fu- what the fuck are you doing here? Okay, that's it. I need to take a minute away from the video so I can absolutely go and school my girlfriend in Tony Hawk. Talk. I'm gonna calm down by doing a sweet, sweet trick on the skateboard. Fucking skating pro. Now, moving on to the soundtrack. The soundtrack for the game is pretty much just Tony Hawk Underground 2 soundtrack, which I can't play, otherwise I'd have a billion copyright strikes and a hitman sent after me. <laughs> Come on! I didn't even play anything! Oh, let's just move on. Now, as fun as Fuck Pro is, I do have a few problems with it. The game would not play anymore after my first play session, as for some reason my customised character had become corrupted, somehow, and thus I had to delete them. Minor inconvenience, but I still had to spend about half an hour googling and trying to find out how to fix the game, and that's on my second play session. Possibly a little bit nitpicky, but it's my job to point out that kind of stuff. I also noticed some rather odd things happening, like this bizarre ramp transfer. I do want to say though that even though I'm aware it's probably too difficult to do this or it's too time consuming to code it in, classic mode for this game would be AMAZING! I don't even mind if all the goals in the classic mode are ripped entirely from the past games and just put straight in there. I'm happy with that. Being able to play classic mode in this game would be so good. For anyone that doesn't know what classic mode is, classic mode was kind of the definitive story mode for the older Tony Hawk games. You would play each level on a time limit and you had a bunch of goals to try and complete, ranging from different scores to collecting letters to, to doing little random things like hard flipping over a red carpet. And by the way, just to add, the gameplay you're seeing in the background is from Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. I might be making a video on this game soon. Now, apart from the online mode, free skate is the only mode where you can just skate around on the level. And it is really cool and really fun to play, but as a progression-minded gamer, I didn't really have anything to complete or unlock, and that kind of made me a little bit sad. I get that the idea is to have everything completely opened out straight away so you can play anything you want to do, and that's brilliant. But like I said, I'm a progression-minded gamer. I like to be constantly making some form of progress in a game. That one's a little bit nitpicky though, so I can let that one slide. I also hope they manage to get all the levels completed, because this game is just as fun as the originals used to be, and that is so good. Epilogue. So all in all, Fug Pro is a wonderful homage to an unfortunately dead franchise. And by dead franchise, I mean it got beaten to death by gimmicky stupid games. Its gameplay and controls remind me of why I fell in love with the franchise in the first place. And with almost every Tony Hawk game level being included, online play, and a price of completely free, how can you go wrong? So for me, Fug Pro has earned its title of Fun Times. Yay! Thank you for watching this video. I will be covering more Tony Hawk games in the future, just not quite yet. So stay tuned for more videos. I hope I can see some of you in Fug Pro soon. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Pip pip to the loop! Fuck! Game Pro right here. <coughs> Parkour. Ring a ring a road, say my life is in danger. A tissue, a tissue, please don't fall down. <laughs> what? <sighs> Alright, this isn't so bad. I can just wiggle. It's like dancing on a skateboard. Oh yeah. It's like having a kayak or something. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Why did I come up with this idea? This idea was so dumb. Oh god, I'm already tired.
Am I a Tony Hawk yet? Hang ten, brother. Fuck up. Haha. You thought I was gonna bail, didn't you? Well, I fucking didn't, so fuck you.